everyone, it's Daphne and Kirsten and today we are going to be critiquing some artwork here. Now first off we have the Statue of David by Donatello. Why are they always naked? I honestly don't know, it's kind of weird when you think about it. And um, this one by Donatello, he looked very feminine the way he's posed. He's also got a feminine face and long, really, really long hair. Yeah, and it kind of looks like he's wearing like a floral hat or something. <laughs> I feel like most boys don't look like that. But like, yeah, and if you did, that's pretty cool too, but... I also feel like most people don't stand like that naturally. I know, it looks very um, unnatural and very awkward, and he's got his foot on like Goliath's head. Yeah. <laughs> but like look look at his toes too. If you like zoom in and look at how long his toes are and the way they're curled. Oh, and they're like curled up around the head. Ew. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's an it's an interesting statue. I mean, I don't think I could ever carve a statue like that, but No, it's no. <laughs> <laughs> and like the proportion of it too, I feel like I don't know, I feel like the proportion looks a little bit off, like its legs are really short. Yeah, and his torso is a lot longer. But I mean, I look like that, so I guess I can't critique that too much. So, there's also the statue of David by Michelangelo here, and if you're looking at the two beside each other... Well, first of all, he's a lot more natural looking and manly. <laughs> Yeah, very a lot more manly looking compared to uh, David by Donatello. Oh, it's kind of like that meme where it's just like um, the guy versus you versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, our next piece that we are critiquing is called the reconstruction of the Temple of Jerusalem. I don't. I don't know if I would consider that reconstruction. Oh, snap. <laughs> it's very, very poor construction. Yeah, it's very um uh geometric, I guess, and just the perspective is way off. I don't think there is perspective. Oh, snap! You didn't know. It looks very flat, and I know that they were going for perspective here. But if you're looking down at the left corner, the workers are so small, and then. It's going to the right, the people are huge, and there's just no depth showing that anyone's closer or further back. Like, the king in the front almost looks like he's as big as the building if he took a st couple steps backwards. Yeah, I just don't think the perspective and proportion were done very well. And everything looks very geometric, it's very well-shaped, and... Like, even the trees, if you look at them, they're very triangular. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like somebody just, like, built them with blocks. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe the workers in the corner can continue construction there and <laughs> fix that up a little bit. The next piece is St. Martin and the Beggar. Well, the first thing I have to say about it is the man is almost as tall as the horse, and the horse is very large. Yeah, and like it looks very stretched too, as if they just took the ends of the picture and just kind of pulled it a bit just to yeah. make it a little bit bigger there. Yeah, and his, again, the torso is like two thirds of his body, and then his legs are on the third, and it's just very awkward looking. Yeah, and if you look at the rider, he looks very oddly positioned. His head is like tilted and then his body is turned a little bit. And then his legs are very small. And I know it's because he's supposed to be sitting, but it doesn't really look like that. No. And it, his neck does look like it's a little broken. <laughs> yeah. And then the horse is just, you know, trotting along, looking very strong and bold and steady. And then the people are just slightly off there. Yeah, the horse is lovely, but clouds also look like they're like right there right above the guy's head yeah they kind of just look like clouds of smoke in the sky <laughs> there's not much depth to it and yeah <laughs> the next piece is sunflowers by van gogh and it looks like a five-year-old probably could have done this 
Yeah, I think it's very nice. I think it's very um, artsy because it is impressionism. But I see, I see what you're getting at. Actually, I th I'm pretty sure a five-year-old did do this, like a copy of it. Oh well, <laughs> <laughs> and it looked pretty good. <laughs> well, yeah, it's it's um, it's very unique looking, you know. I mean, the artist did cut off his own ear, so... Yeah. Maybe he just didn't hear the sunflowers. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and our very last piece that we are critiquing is called The Vision After the Sermon. And this one is very interesting here. It's very flat. There's no depth. When we were being taught about this in our art class, our teacher was going on about how much she loved this painting. She's like, isn't it just beautiful? And we're all just sitting there like, yeah, it's, it's, it's great. That is precisely why we are